Welcome to the Ping Plotter tutorial series. This episode will show you how to navigate through the different parts of Ping Plotter so you can get started finding network problems quickly. We're assuming you've already downloaded and installed Ping Plotter, and if you haven't, there are some instructions available in the description. To get started, we'll enter the address of something we've been experiencing issues with and then click the trace button. We want to collect as much data as we can, so it's best to let Ping Plotter run for at least 10 minutes, but preferably longer. Pingplotter generates route information in the trace graph, which displays info on each device, or hop, between us and our target. All of the stats here are based off of the focus time value. So for example, if this is set to 10 samples, then all of the stats are based on the last 10 samples. To show or hide additional stat columns, just right click and select Customize View. The timeline graph visualizes our trace data. Latency is represented by a black line, while packet loss is represented by a vertical red line. To open additional timeline graphs, just double click on a hop or use the option in the right click menu. And these same actions can close down the graphs as well. We can change the amount of time the graphs show by right clicking on them. And navigating is really easy, just click and drag the graphs back and forth. To return to current time, just right click and select reset focus to current. Double clicking a timeline graph will bring up a focus area, which will focus the upper graph to that point in time. This focus area is also defined by the focus time value. We can share our data with other ping plotter users by exporting it as a PP2 file. And if we're needing to share with non ping plotter users, there are also options available to export as an image or a text file. And that should be everything you need to know to find your way around ping plotter. For more information on how to start finding network problems, be sure to check out our step by step troubleshooting guide on pingplotter.com.